back to my channel, Button and Pip. I'm popping on today to talk about what I've been making, what I've been buying, and what I've been generally up to in March. Um, I've just got to start because I'm on such a buzz still from the dressmaker's ball. What an evening. It was so good. So let me start there and I'll talk all about what happened. I'll pop some pictures up actually while I'm talking about it so you can see the evening unfold. So Crafty so-and-so ladies, Freya and Sarah, have organised this event and it's held at the City Rooms in Leicester. I've walked past the City Rooms before, it's a, a lovely building actually right in the centre of Leicester City, but I've never been in uh, before so it was really, it surprised me actually how beautiful the ballroom actually is. So I went along with some lovely ladies that I've met here on Instagram um, and we got ready first in an apartment you know it's a friday so there was a mad rush coming from work um so we got ready and we got straight there in a taxi walked through the door straight away a glass of prosecco thank you very much and as we walked through it was like wow my instagram feed has just come alive and oh my goodness i have lost count actually of how many people i spoke to and how many beautiful outfits and dresses that i saw um just wow it was breathtaking so the first thing that we did was we went into the side room and got um, a group photo taken actually it was really nice and there I bumped into Carrie and uh, Emma from the zipper foot Carrie can make it in a zipper foot and I'd seen on their stories them getting ready and what they've been making so it was really lovely actually to meet them in person I've met Carrie a few times before at the so knots um, and at a few of their little events but it was lovely to meet Emma and wow she is so beautiful so beautiful so yes we had our photos taken and then we went upstairs to the grand ballroom and as we walked in there was tables all set out and there was a table over in the side that was empty so we all scrambled over there and um actually we bumped into two ladies that we met angela and claire that we met at the sewing weekend so it was really lovely because they live in bristol and i haven't seen them since the sewing weekend so it was really nice to bump into them so we got chatting straight away uh, took a seat and then Tamlin and Keely also joined us so they are the Sewn on the Time and also Voice of a Creative. Um, two ladies also that I really do admire their make so it was really lovely to meet them in person. So yeah we sat down got a few gins in and the evening just kicked off on there. So we had some food to start with. Um, I just I wasn't really hungry I was just so excited that I was just really nibbling. And then came the catwalk. Uh, there was four categories. So there was best dressed male, um, accessories. There was um, dressmaker under um, two years. And then there was more experienced dressmakers. So this time I entered the catwalk and oh my goodness, my heart was beating. And I don't know why, because everybody was just cheering us on and it was so lovely. And it was kind of a time to strip your stuff. On the catwalk so yeah that was really fun as well um big congratulations to the ladies that won it and actually the lady uh purple cloud that was sitting on our table won the uh, stress novice and wow her dress was absolutely amazing it was this um ombre pink tall kind of dress and it was just like wow she looked like she was on a cloud floating so she, her dress was actually my favorite of all of the catwalk so big thumbs up there um so yes after the catwalk then the big band started playing and i just didn't get time to dance i was just bumping into so many lovely people um and thank you to everyone that hopped in and said hello to me it was so nice to see everybody and to just see what everyone had been making oh there was just such a lovely buzz and i have to make a little mention actually to sharon who I've met before in uh, So Leicester Meetups. She actually had the exact same fabric as me and the teal lovely velvet and she made a Freya dress and wow, we were like twinning and it was like twinning is winning. Oh, it was just so lovely, so lovely. So yes, so the night just whizzed on by and it was just amazing. You can tell I'm almost on a high already still about it, but 
yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to the dressmakers ball, if Freya and Sarah are going to organise another one, you've got to go. Really um, lovely to actually meet other people that have the same interest as you. And the whole evening was just spent admiring everybody's dresses, chatting. And it was actually like meeting up with a, a bunch of old friends. So thank you again to the Crafty So and So ladies for organising that event. Um... I don't know what else I can say about it. I just, it's just swimming through my mind how gorgeous the evening was. Um, I might actually write a blog post about it so I get a little bit more time to just sit down and digest everything. But yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, right, so let's jump on to what I've actually been making this month. Now, in my last video, I spoke about the Evelyn, or is it Evelyn? Dungarees overalls from the Sugardale Pattern Company. It was a Kickstarter campaign for three patterns. So the Evelyn overalls, the Len boiler soup and the Hilda skirts. Um, and I bought a pack of the three PDFs and I really had my fingers crossed that it was going to go through and it did. So as soon as I received my email, I printed it off and I went straight away and made them. So this fabric was from the Fabric Godmother. Let me jump up and show you. So they are lovely dungarees with these wide pleats. Now, I've realised I've made a bit of a boo-boo. These pleats actually should be folded the other way, pressed the other way, whereas I've done them more as a tulip shape, folding forward. Um, I don't know if it makes any issue, but now that I know I've done it wrong, I'm kind of kicking myself a little. But anyway, I still love them. Um, and it comes with a bib and the back is a lovely open cross back. Now, I've got to show you something that I am so impressed with these because the way that they attach. So you've got a button here on the side. So let me open that. And then the zip is hidden in there. So you can't actually see the fastening. How clever is that? Um, just, I love them. They're really tight waisted. And they have a crop leg with a big chunky turn up. And since I've made them, I've just been wearing them. They're so comfortable. And I actually can't wait for the summer. And I'm thinking of making a pair in maybe some linen, some deep heavy twill maybe. But yeah, a really, really big thumbs up for these. I'll pop a picture up to show you. Now, another thing actually that I did a little bit wrong, I put the pockets on a little bit high. Now, I'm, I really don't want to spoil them by taking the top stitching and the stitching out. So I'm just going to leave them totally fine, really. Do you know what? Sometimes when you make your own clothes and you do something wrong, you just always noticing that mistake. And I don't think anyone else will, but... I suppose you're just self-critical, really. But, yeah. Oh, actually, let me show you this as well. Look, the bib is all fully lined. So, I had some of this cotton, actually, in my stash. And I originally was going to use some other floral. And then I remembered I had this. So, yeah, that's in there and also in the pocket lining. So, I really, really love that. Um, also, these buttons. Now... The cover, the illustrations that come with this pattern are a really artistic sort of um, two-toned um, drawings, illustrations. And I just love these buttons because they remind me so much of the illustration. And my daughter actually helped me pick these ones up. I was going to go for some wooden ones. And then I said, oh, which ones do you think? The wooden ones or these? And she said, mummy, go for those. So, yeah, thank you for that suggestion. Um, and I just love these. So comfortable and they're going to see me right through summer wearing a t-shirt underneath. So that's a really big thumbs up as well for that. Now, what I've also been making is some new pyjamas. Now, I think that it might be a waste of time actually sewing pyjamas because you're not going to wear them out. And then I thought to myself, actually, you spend most of your time in pyjamas. So I've had this... Um, Roma Pronte in my fabric stash and I was going to make a cardigan out of it but then I had a thought all my pyjamas all the waste has gone on them and I just thought do you know what why don't I just make some nice and cozy ones so what I've done is I've used the Stella Joggers pattern and the Frankie t-shirts with the shorter sleeves and I was so close to actually doing the whole vlog in these because they are super comfortable. And then I thought, oh, it might be look strange sitting here in my pyjamas. <laughs> but yeah, 
Well, these are going straight on tonight. I finished them actually only just today with the waistband. So they're going straight on when I get home tonight and I'm just gonna lounge in them. So yeah, massive. I actually might think I might make some more pajamas, get rid of all my shop bought ones because they are just a perfect combination of Stella joggers and the Frankie top. So that's all I've been really sewing this month because I've been super busy with the ball. Um, but yeah, I've been buying a few little things. So what actually, if you've noticed, I've got this beautiful necklace on from So Dainty. Uh, this is the acrylic scissors. So they're lilac and they've got a glittery bottom. And she's got, I think, is it four? So a knitting needle with wool, um, a button, some scissors, and the lovely Laura from Matua Girl Laura bought me the, oh, let me turn that around, the little cotton reel and needle. And I've loved wearing them actually. It's my first acrylic big chunky jewellery. I've always admired um, jewellery like this. And I really enjoyed wearing it actually. It kind of, do you know what? It's actually been quite a talking point. So people see them and go, well, why have you got scissors on a necklace? And then you get in a whole conversation of, yeah, well, well I made my own clothes. So it's been really lovely actually. So yes, go and check her out. I'll put a link actually below to her shop. And I know these sold out really quickly. I think she's got a few more in because I've seen a few people pop up saying they've got them. So yeah, definitely go and check that out. Um, and as I always, I've done a little bit of fabric shopping. So the first one is from Pin and Sew. And it is this lovely, I think it's called Slate um, Animal Print. <laughs> I am a little bit obsessed actually with an animal print and I'm going to try and make this my last purchase for a while but I really do love this and it's got gold glitter in each of the prints. I've only got a metre of that and I'm really toying between another Freya or another Agnes. I don't know um, but yeah it's all washed it's all ready to get sewing I just need to maybe get sorted really because I'm really excited to actually sew with that. Now, this morning, actually, on the school run, I popped in to uh, Sew Wardrobe, Sew Your Own Wardrobe in Ashby to get some elastic for my jogging bottoms. And I could not resist this beautiful fabric. So it's loop back jersey. And it's full of kitties. Look at those kittens. Oh, one doesn't look actually very impressed. Have you seen that one there? Oh, they're just so sweet. Now, I've got a metre and a half of this because I thought with it being looped back, it might be really cosy as a dress. It does have some stretch in it, but I think it'd be really nice to keep me warm in the springtime until we're waiting for the summer if it ever does arrive. So that needs to go in the wash, pre-wash, and then I'm really going to get straight on and make an Agnes dress out of that. I don't think it can be anything else. It's just you know, it's so snuggly and warm. So yeah, that was an unexpected purchase this morning. But yeah, how amazing has March been? Oh, I've just got to shut up. Be quiet now. The ball is done. I've got to wait another two years maybe. But yeah, please go and check out the hashtag on Instagram to see everybody's wonderful outfits. They're just amazing. And yeah what is April going to bring? I hope I don't have a bit of a downer now. Oh, I'm going to have to find something else to go to, aren't I? Anyway, thank you for watching today and I, um, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.